Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and in this edition of Let's Learn Dragon Ball Fighters, we're going to be talking about a fairly simple concept, yet uh, has a lot of layers to it, and that's simply what to do when the match starts, you know? Uh, the game just started, you bought, everyone's got all the resources available to them, and what to do, right? Uh, that's a kind of a tricky thing, because it has a lot to do of what you are able to do, but also respecting your enemy's options of what they are able to do. Uh, I got Android 16 here because he's a classic example here. Because uh, if you want to do something straightforward, well, his round one straightforward uh, just might beat out what you got, right? Uh, due to the fact he can easily armor through a lot of your stuff, uh, you know, he might be able to beat you out. So what do you do against that, right? So perhaps your master stroke plan simply can't, you know, match up with something as simple and dumb as that, right? So this is why we have to think of all the concepts at play. So we can look at it in a few ways here. Uh, one is simply trying to enforce your will. You want to get whatever setup you want to win the initiative. You want to go forward, uh, get your combo or whatever have you. And uh, the other way to look at it is simply, okay, now we're going to be playing around what the enemy is going to be trying to do. Because, you know, they want to try to do something, right? And uh, letting them overextend themselves is an easy option to be able to hang them and then just kind of get what you want in anyways, right? And also a third easy cheating option of not engaging at all and you, you just start the round with uh, instant air dash backwards and not really kind of do anything. But even that works a bit too and we'll talk about that in a hot second. But first let's just talk about starting with a round with what game plan you want. So when enforcing your game plan you also have to look at just you know kind of obvious thing of hey what's your team right? Uh, your team is absolutely going to dictate your options and your pace. So uh, just for an example right now, we're using Android 21 here, and Android 21, uh, one of our most obvious options is simply, hey, down, forward, and medium. So that's their tail spike here, and it reaches quite easily here from the round one fight position. And not only that, uh, since we do have 16 hours like our exact example here, this move actually hits before 16's armor frames on his stand heavy uh, activate. So if he were to use that exact option at the start of the round, then you're gonna win. So that's pretty handy. So it covers multiple bases on top of being you know, a far-reaching move. So if we want to start with that, uh, what are our options, right? So if it successfully hits, you know, then we can do something like this. We can cancel into uh, just basic key blast here. Now we're not gonna have any bar at the start of a match, so we can't do you know uh, something a little more advanced here, like get our level one. Uh, but since we have the start of the match here, we do have assists available to us, right? So even something as basic as this here using a guinea shoulder and that's just a very basic assist exam uh, example uh, then we go oh hey this hit and then we can kind of hit confirm into a combo and then that's kind of all you need we've taken the photo of the corner uh, we got a very strong start of the round here and from the corner we can blender them quite strongly a lot of really strong options from the start of a round are usually not always but usually going to involve assists here and you have to know who's backing you up. So let's uh, try a little more degenerate example. So for someone like Bardock here, we have his Rebellion Spear, the light version, and it's just a good little rush hold forward here, right? And if we use an assist here that doesn't take people off their feet if it hits, then we have a recipe for success. We have a very fast move that basically beats everything at the start of a match, and we'll immediately call our assist. So if it hits, a hey, fantastic full combo time, right? And if it's blocked, then hey, it doesn't really matter. It's still our turn. We still get to keep the pressure. So it's basically balls on our court, hit or not. If it hits, awesome, great. You know, get our damage in, right? And if not, then, you know, we still get to go and keep taking our turn here. So obviously, uh, certain combinations aren't going to be as good as other. You know, uh, Rebellion Spear and the Krillin Rock, eh. Maybe one day that's top tier in the meta, but for today anyways, you know, it isn't, right? Uh, but stuff like this and uh, Yamcha assist, 16 assist, or even most assists, but those two since uh, they leave the enemy standing on hit, that works really well with the Rebellion Spear. These are the kind of things that are just really, really good. And of course, uh, we can just fake people out here and go for uh, the medium Rebellion Spear as well, uh, into an assist call, into a dash over their head or something like that. Uh, the assist call super key to this offensive option at the start. Now obviously these are character specific examples but let's just kind of get the idea going here in your head of what's possible. Uh, universally just even something simple like you know a round starts it's an air dash call and assist right. 
If it hits awesome, you can probably get a combo with near any combination of characters in the game. And if it's blocked, hey, you still probably force some sort of blocks on here, right? Uh, but now let's talk about uh, doing this from a more defensive aspect. So we already showed, you know, how to impose your will a bit. It could be something as simple as, you know, what we've shown. Or round one start, you know, hey, I'm going to, you know, just start attacking and, you know, call this whatever, right? Uh, but what about from a defensive mindset? So from a defensive mindset, we got a lot of options here. Uh, and we're going to show it just using uh, the setup we showed from the offense earlier. So we're going to use that exact same Bardock setup we had here before. So when the round starts, you're just going to go right for it. And, you know, it's really fast, so we're not going to be able to really, you know, hit him out of it or nothing. So uh, we just kind of expand the net, you know, let him go for it. So even something simple like this here. Just instant air dash backwards at the start of the round and let him hang himself. And see here, the assist ain't going to be around to help him, right? So uh, we can kind of get him that way. Also, another way that works really good against anybody who wants to potentially start the round with a forward advancing move. You know, it could be Bardock, it could be Broly, it could be 16 or whatever, right? Just start the round here. Super jump and homing dash. Now, depending on the assist, this actually can uh, potentially change what you want to do it. Uh, uh, sometimes an assist actually might hit you if you do it backwards. As you see right here, we just kind of got smacked out of it. Uh, in that case, with the Yamcha assist, we can actually super jump forwards and then hit Yamcha on the other side and still manage to hit Bardock, right? Uh, so, depending on the enemy assist, if uh, such a straightforward bulldog is the plan, then uh, you kind of got to think, you know, what's the assist backing them up, right? Now, a classic is honestly the just let them see what happens. So, uh, round starts, and this one's assist dependent, but it's a very common assist, and that's uh, the old Vegeta assist here. So the match starts and you just simply hold back or down back and just call Vegeta and see what happens. Uh, in all scenarios, is this going to work? No, it's not. Uh, certain uh, specific starts can definitely beat it. Uh, just as something as simple as, you know, oh, just going meet it in scenario dash heavy or something. Well, usually tag Vegeta and knock him out of the air, right? And if you're down backing, that means you're probably going to get hit by it. Uh, and that's also why we mentioned at the start of the video, just, you know, because that's a common starter. But generally speaking, if they try anything tricky or whatever, this is for the most part a safe route here. Uh, Vegeta usually smack them after they're done doing whatever they're going to do. And since you're crouching and not really committing anything, hey, you're fine. Now, as we mentioned very briefly before, and the most basic defensive option you can make is just simply instant air dash backwards at the start of the round. Uh, there's no real way to punish it other than the absolute hardest of reads of running forward and trying to catch the person in the air. Uh, and even then, that needs to be near frame perfect, so eh. The only real thing is uh, you are giving up the mount on the screen and putting yourself, you know, that much closer to the corner if you attempt to do so. So it does carry that risk. But for the most part, once again, if you don't want to commit, you don't want to deal with the opening gamut because, you know, some characters, like, you know, hey, bar it off, right? Uh, definitely have much stronger opening gamuts than other characters, right? Uh, and if you just want to avoid all that, then giving up a little screen, if that's what the doctor ordered for you, and that's fine, then hey, go for it, right? Uh, they will usually burn the assist too, so you won't have to deal with whatever assist will be on their cooldown. And uh, certain defensive assists, you know, like uh, exact Vegeta setup we talked about earlier, just doing that makes them want to burn their Vegeta, and they did nothing with it really, and then you can go forward and kind of recommit, and then you don't have to worry about the Vegeta assist bopping you in the head while you're trying to apply your pressure. So that's just kind of the basic thought process of what you should be looking for at the start of a round. Obviously, this is not every possible permutation offensively or defensively, because in this video it would basically be like seven or eight hours long. Uh, but with these some, you know, specific examples in mind, you know, especially common ones that you'll see with, you know, a Bardock or 16 mashing heavy at the start of the round, uh, these kind of give you the idea. So basically, long story short, once again, just really keep in mind, you have to look at what what you got to bring to the table to start of the round, what they have to bring to the table to start of the round, and then weigh your options, you know? Uh, if you are a Bardock player, right, and then you look at, say, Blue Vegeta, uh, your options to start the round with are, generally speaking, going to be stronger than his. Uh, is this a guarantee you win? No, absolutely not. Of course not, right? But if you feel your offensive options to start and uh, win the initiative at the start of the round are strong in the enemy, absolutely go for it with whatever you think your team's best setup is. Um, but if you think you have the weaker setup, right, do a defensive play. You know, you can back dash, get out of dodge. You can try to super jump over and maybe a uh, homing dash and try to hit them depending on what the setup is. Uh, but you have to weigh basically always what you have versus what they have. And as obviously after each successful character goes down, uh, resources get whittled out. 
Uh, the character with more assists to back them up definitely has a much stronger a go of it. Even as something simple as the Gohan assist, right? Uh, it does hit from the start of the round here if they move forward at all. And since it has a very quick startup, uh, he's uh, invincible a few frames after he touches the ground. He will, generally speaking, beat most setups, right? So uh, that's another way to defensively start the round if a character with an uppercut assist, if you're not sure. Uh, this is basically the ultimate screen right here. And Gohan would knock them into uh, the Vegeta assist, so that's something. But, you know, you just have to weigh your options. And that's something, uh, depending on your team, you're going to have to come to decision yourself, right? But just think, what can I do with my point character and uh, the combinations of assists I have to help, you know, kind of take the initiative? And if not, then help, you know, the enemy overextend into my net. Anyways, that's just some concepts for you, because uh, once again, this is a very deep well, and we can just go forever, so hopefully these concepts expand your mind to some of the possibilities that are out there. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.